right? Shalom. I can say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua, Bashem Rakadash. No, understand the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity to all the four corners of the globe underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua. It's Jim S. Boston. Okay, and we are going to do a brief uh, sit down through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua on uh, a topic that's going to be more. Uh, it's going to be showing up more and more as the time goes on. As lawlessness uh, gets ready to happen, okay, because of this uh, whole pandemic thing, what you're going to start seeing is more gate getting uh, treaded down like the mines of the street, like it says in the scriptures. Somebody going to grab that for me real quick, you know, and uh, this is just this, this going to be the ongoing thing from now on in, because what's happening is. Esau and Edom is finally at the end of his rope with the nation of Israel. He don't know what to do with them, and he sees them as a direct threat of their supremacy, that fake white supremacy, okay? So he wants to get rid of them at all costs, man. Uh, things like black laws are going to be more apparent now than ever, okay? Jaywalking, I've seen two young Jakes. Uh, I don't know how old the video was. I was just watching it, but they couldn't even cross the damn street down south. The cop harassed them until he gave them felonious tickets, tried to take one of them to jail. And it's just for walking across the street on a, on a don't, do not cross sign. But even cops cross that same area of the street on do not walk signs. But the one kid who got the, the officer mad, he was like, what? You only want to give us tickets because you're black kids with hoodies on, walking outside. And he was like, oh, no, that's not it. You just broke the law. You know what I'm saying? So more of these things are going to happen, and death is going to ensue, just like the brothers. We just finished watching the video of the Minneapolis uh, uh, police brutality, which killed the man like Eric Garner. But this time, the cop had his hands in his pocket, or he might have on black gloves, but you can see him applying more pressure to Jake's neck on that one leg and for no reason the, the Jake was already subdued but it just looked like he wanted to kill the man just because he could okay if I may add this is going to continue and continually happen to our people if we don't repent you know the Lord is going to allow Esau to, to, to execute judgment on our people man you know when you guys are going to continue uh, trying to protest, come together and ask Esau to hear your cries or your rally. He's not hearing you, man. He wants to destroy you and he's going to clearly show it through all these videos, man. You know? Right there first. Yeah. That's you know, Isaiah chapter. I started at 5. Uh, I, I know. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. Mm -hmm. I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge? Who is, who is the him? The him is Esau and Edom. Okay? Because uh, the Lord is not going to come down here and rebuke uh, or punish his children. He's going to let this Assyrian, which is the person that's in power right now, from the eyes of those prophets that was of old, we know him at the nation of Edom in this time, but back then they was only using the word for oppressor. In that time that... Uh, Isaiah wrote about this. Assyrians were the oppressors of that day. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's why as he said, the Assyrian a rod of my indignation, which is the so called white man in this time right now, which is Esau Edom. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the him that is talking about. Mm -hmm. And to take spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mires of the streets. Mm -hmm. That's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see evident. It's, it's clearly being shown. Karen's calling, calls calling, and birthday parties that Jake is having, barbecues, kids in pools. That's because uh, Gucci Man the other day, he got kicked off a basketball court at a, at a country club because the bitch said she, was, she just want to lock the door. He said, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. What are we getting locked out of the, the basketball court for? Oh, because we're niggas. That's what, that's what Gucci Man said. You see, Jake want to learn. It don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter where, where you're trying to run off and live in your own little corner, okay? 
this so-called white man, he hates you. Okay? Because of perpetual hatred. With a perpetual hatred. That's in brethren. Okay? okay? He's going to see to your end, man. And all because of what this brother said. Y'all won't repent. Y'all won't come back to the way of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shah, man. Y'all will not adhere and listen and open your ears, man. You know, just like the brother in North Carolina, we watched something right with him earlier. This Jake would not stop rambling on. He, he could have heard the word, clearly, okay? But he wanted to intervene and throw his little two cents in there that didn't mean shit, okay? And y'all gonna find out. All this pop, poppy cop walking, pop cop walking around like he knows something, heads are gonna roll, man. He saw evil means business this time around. All the brothers in, in Jim Mets, we know when we walk outside, when we going outside to our car, when we get in our car, pray heavenly that you make it to your destination safely. Period, point blank, man. And we telling y'all the same thing, man. Y'all better learn how to throw y'all hands up to the most high, say his name, and, and send up prayers for yourself and your family and you, man. That's right. And repent, man. Turn back from the wicked ways of Babylon the Great. The time is short, man. Time is short. New doors are closing. And the Lord, he ain't going to have mercy for too much longer, man. Okay? Right. He's going to just, he's going to hand you over off the east side. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what we're ready. You know? That's what that's going into. And you're going to be treaded down like the mire of the street, man. You're going to be rolled around, kicked around, choked out, that's run right. down. If, if I may add, yeah. if the scripture also said, agree with thy adversary quickly. quickly. Our people think they know something. They think they have rights here. They think they could talk to Esau the way they want, or they know the law, or they know the, the you know the jurisdiction or something, whatever. Nah, mm -hmm. you are not equal to Esau. That's they right. don't care if even you feel that you are right. You are always going to be at the wrong, man. Right. You know, and and they're going to take care of themselves, man. So they're going to have police, uh, or police themselves, or, or, or like, again, like we seen that video of this dude in Minneapolis. There was a Moabite police looking at the Edomite, pretty much kill him with no a chill or nothing. You know what I mean? So you have to realize that the scripture says agree with thy adversary. And you got to get into these scriptures, man, and, and repent to the Lord. Because he's the only one that's going to um, deliver you. This is why this is the shadow and valley of death, man. Um, I got a precept. This is Psalms 10. Let's start at the top. It says, why standest thou, why standest thou afar off, o, o Yahweh? Why hidest thou, thy, thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked and his pride do per persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Mm. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desires and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. Mm. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. All right. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgment are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. Mm. He said it in, he, he had said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. And that's what put uh, a majority of these people. You know, they don't ever think that uh, they're going to ever be in a, in, in a situation that uh, Jake is in, you know, but the Lord is going to, he's going to render a recompense unto them. If right? I be untrue, they don't think they're going to be judged for their action. They don't right, think right. they're going to be held accountable for what they have done to our people. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord, how about should try to slow in anger. You know what I'm saying? He they pretty much allowed Building up a kiss against the devils, man. That's right, right. Come on. What's the Ecclesiastes? Oh, you got it. No, 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 no. You got it. That's a lot of people. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. That's, that's right. exactly what it is. Because the these devils, they haven't seen nothing happen to them yet. They keep on killing Jake's, you know, wake in, wake out, and they haven't seen nothing happen to them. Guess what? They think that the Lord uh, has forsaken his people. Mm -hmm. No, the Lord pretty much is big building up a case against you, man. He's allowing wickedness to reach to a certain level mm -hmm. so that when, when he brings from the judgment, he's going to be uh, 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 justified. justified. Yes, right. Right. Yeah. Did I write this too? Mm -hmm. Michael 2, before you get back to that, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the Lord and his might, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands to do it. And that's what you see, man. This has been a green light given to all these devils, maybe on the left-hand side to Satan himself, mm -hmm. okay? But consequently, you already know that this government is falling apart, man. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to trim the fat the best way they can because of the depopulation thing that's going on. Yeah. Okay, so just like in Katrina, you probably see Katrina to the hundred power, man. Okay? Yeah, if I may add too, bro, what Jake don't understand, the elite, the higher-ups, they pretty much gave those uh, local 
police officer the green light to come after you, man. That's right. No, hey, open yeah, it's open season because like the ultimate in this league, they were a, 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 a waste wall so that they can justify and come after you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. This is uh, going back to Psalms 10, this is verse 7. It says, His mouth is full of cursing and deceit mm -hmm. and fraud. Under hey. his tongue is mischief and vanity. Hey, that's all, that's Esau, man, from, from top to Psalms 10, right? Mm -hmm. From top to down, it's talking about your Esau. It's mm -hmm. talking about the characteristic of the so called white man. That's he right. has a, 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 a perpetual hatred for his Israelites. Ultimately, it goes back to blessing. That's right. Because of our forefather, uh, uh, Jacob, uh, finesse him out, out of the blessing. And yeah. Esau got mad. Uh, still today, the seed of the hatred uh, kept on going for, for, for our people. Mm -hmm. it's, right. not, it's not ever going to go away until your house shall come back and rectify the, 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 the mistreatment of our people. You know? That's right. right? That's why I said never trust thy enemies. Mm -hmm. You guys got to realize that you have an enemy. Man. The so-called white man is not your friend, even though he might have the same uh, voter, he wants to vote for the same president as you, or may have similar similarities in some type of policy or whatever. Or religion or whatever, he's not your enemy. He's he's a he's friend. friend. He's, he's not. Your, friend. I mean, it's a lot here throughout. Him. He's not your uh, 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 friend, man. He's definitely an enemy. Right? He's the cancer of the whole earth, man. And now the Lord is revealing him to show his horns, man. And if you don't see it, hey, you're gonna be trodden like the mire of the streets, man. Yeah. Verse eight it says, "He sitteth in the lurking place of the villages, in the secret place, though he murdered the innocent. Mm. His eyes are privately." Set against the poor. Hey, he murders the innocent. Just with that video, mm -hmm. uh, in Minneapolis, the dude was apprehended. He was on the ground. His his, his arms was probably behind his back. They, you said there was three policemen holding on him. the other side. On the other side, holding him down. Like he's not resisting, man. He's like, already subdued. He's already subdued. But what the damn devil does? He put, puts more pressure on his neck so he can't breathe. Hey, these guys murder the innocent, man, and right. then they laugh about it. Or they take pictures about it. They've been doing this for years. They have hung our, our, our people up. Hispanics too, so-called Hispanics, blacks. You know, they've been hanging it up, taking pictures, burning them. They have no remorse, man. They actually enjoy uh, executing judgment yeah. on you guys. Man. They have no conscience, no, con yeah. no guilt, no, no remorse, remorse, no remorse. No remorse. That's right. 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 He lied and wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he draw him into his net. Mm -hmm. He crouched and humbled himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Hey, come. That's uh, you have to do your enemy. You have to do the characteristic, the attribute of your enemies. That's right. And the reason why, why most the vast majority of our people fell down the east was uh, nets is uh, is uh, is uh, craftiness is because they don't know who the enemy is, man. That's right. Hey, if I may mention too, when you look on the, like the 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 what's that? The geographic, the National Geographic Channel. When you look at these lions and you look at the gazelles, the gazelles know who they are, so they they have a chance they to flee. Alert. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They always look. They got their heads up, even when they're eating. So mm -hmm. they know uh, when they, when the enemy comes through, they have an opportunity to get up out of out of dodge. But Jay is walking amongst their enemies, not even they haven't. Uh, what's what's been a brother brought up? Never trust that enemy. Uh -huh. So they they're not even paying attention to. One yeah. thing they do, they're willing to bat for Esau. They willing to go back to Esau and say, "Oh, you know, we gotta love each other," but. Yeah. Hey, it's showing me that Esau don't love you. And, and by these acts and these works that he's doing, it's evident. If I may just bring this up real quick. Yeah. Ecclesiasticus 12, verse, I'll start at 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? You know, so when we see our our people going down, we're not going to pity them because they're thinking Esau is a, a good guy. You know, they're trusting him. When we constantly do the spirit power, Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, I'm warning you. So we ain't going to have no remorse, no pity, or lift up a cry or prayer for you guys, even though it's vexing through the spirit to see our people go through it. But uh, Ezekiel said that, you know, you guys are hard-headed, stiff-necked children. Mm -hmm. right? yes. Even one, right. rebellious yes. children, yes. Right? imputed children. Yes. So we're not going to pity uh, 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 our people for falling by that serpent, man. Right? You know? And how, many, go, wait, wait. Oh, so go, go. how many times this has to happen for you to understand and know that's right. uh, that Esau hates you? Hey, that's, that's right, right bro. Uh, that's right. Uh, Genesis 49, verse, uh, verse 8. Right. Yeah. Mr. Of Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise, thy hand shall be in the neck of, the, of, of thy enemies, thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion, walk from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stood down, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. 
Judah is the head tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. It's the so-called uh, Negroes, so-called African Americans, so-called blacks, man. You guys are the head tribe. And right now, you're like the lion that's just sleeping, lacks the days ago, man. But the more and more we see these things in the news, hey, that lion's going to get out that cage and seek for blood, man. And this is what the Lord has prophesied and will reveal to his servants to yeah. prophesy that race wars is going to come. And, and once Judah uh, uh, comes back to that scepter, come back to that rulership and realizing uh, it's time for war, the other tribes are going to follow. Ephraim and, and, and the um, tribes on down yeah. because they're not exempt. That's you know, right. The northern kingdom, they're going through it as well. That's they, right. They're catching it by Esau as well. So they're going to know that they have a common enemy to get get on board with each other to fight against that common enemy. Mm -hmm. you know? It's like the ancient time. You That's know? right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because like uh, uh, spiritually, like once Judah uh, 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 raised up, guess what? All the tribes are going to follow after. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? That's right. When you read uh, the six, second Ezra 6 and 54, man, this is the time, man. This, this is what time we're approaching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Esau, Edom's kingdom is going down, and like the scriptures say, man, I'm gonna get Genesis three, and uh, I'm gonna get right to the point. Okay. Fifteen, it says, and I will put empty between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Mm -hmm. They shall bruise thy head, meaning Esau, mm -hmm. okay, and thou shalt bruise his heel, mm -hmm. and that's what we're gonna do. That, and then we read Second Ezra six, uh, seven. Six what's and six and nine? Six yeah. and nine. Yeah. Okay, when you see that, word. yeah, and that's what that's what that's going into, and that's what these race riders are going to do, man. Okay, two thirds are going to be heavily involved in this race ride that's about to ensue, mm -hmm. and this this is the spot. This could be the spot. Okay, mm -hmm. this could be very well the spot because now we got something on the uh, two thirds side of the nation of Israel. <coughs> They got something called the No Fuck Around Coalition. Man. That's right. And these guys are armed and teed up. Okay, they ready to go. Mm. All right. Hey, buddy, so like, but, um, like you got to remember, this is all adding to the year twenty twenty year prophecy. Mm -hmm. That's right. You got to remember with this point, uh, pandemic, you know, uh, a lot of people stressed out. You know, a lot of people stressed out, and now this is just gonna. Uh, it's gonna hurt you. Yeah. You know, it's gonna make it. It's gonna. Get, it's playing on people's emotion, and now. You might just see something take place in the, in the oh, next well, couple of weeks. Uh, probably in the next couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if I, okay. If I may add, that scripture that his brother brought out was beautiful. Psalms uh, 49. That's the majority of... Genesis 49. Oh, Genesis, Genesis 49. 49. Yeah. 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 I was thinking of his brother who brought Psalms. Uh, Genesis 49, that Judah is the lion. Well, that's the majority of two-thirds of our people, man, because the, the elect are going to abide by the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The wisdom and knowledge is going to keep us hidden and staying in tune with spiritually, being spiritually minded. As the scripture says, carnally minded is deaf. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is going to allow two thirds to get a little bit of uh, 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 retaliation. Yeah, you yeah. know, And that's going to be race wars, man. And that's prophesied also in uh, Second Ezra 15 chapter. So it, this is what we're, as our job, our profession for the Lord is to prophesy and give y'all the news for Israel, man. Yeah, come. You know? To give you that warning to, to, to wash your blood off our hands, man. Because if you don't, if we don't give you the warning, guess what? Your blood gonna be up on you. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to uh, 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 stay away from your blood. So we give you that warning. Because when the blood dropped the hammer, we can't say no. Mm -hmm. We can't say you didn't get the warning. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, um, since you set that up, brother um, Zechariah thirteen and eight, it says, um, and it shall come to pass that in all the lands of the Lord, that two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Uh -huh. uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, two thirds, like uh, that's uh, what, 66 for 66? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's two thirds of our people. That's the same two thirds that's gonna uh, follow to the to the craftiness of Esau. They're gonna put their trust in these devils, man. Mm -hmm. hey, that's, these are these are the same people that are gonna tell you that Esau is a good man or, or, not, or Edomites are bad. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they, are, they are some good Edomites, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You know? These, yeah. these are people that join in hand with the wicked. Man. That's right. Uh, by uh, by, by uh, forcefully under understanding what's going on or by not knowing whether you know it or not, you're still gonna be held accountable because yeah. guess what? Uh, 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 anyone that's that's not uh, for this truth is against it by that's default, right. man. Huh. So your love is gonna is gonna fall based off how you uh, uh, pursue this by seeking out by some your shot. And if you don't seek them, you're gonna die, man. That's, right. that's why he gave Esau two thirds charge over the prey to tread him down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You have no uh, uh, association with the Lord and his plans and his his, his uh, uh, rulership and his kingdom. Uh -huh. The scripture says what? Um, bring um, um, those my enemies that don't want me to reign over them, 
bring them hither and slay them before me. So what good is you for your Alba Shai if you're not with him? So that which means you're against whatever. If I may have too, you gotta pick a side. You know, they should have, you know, this, this is um, they should have no cloak for their sins. That's right. So you gotta pick a side, man. Mm. You know, it can't, it can't be neutral forever. So mm. You have to pick a side. I just can see the the the, the stage is being set. set up right now for 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 this world. It's gonna come. Because it's inevitable because it's already prophesied in the Bible. That's yes, right. Sir. I got you. Quickly finish it up. And it's that's why it says many are called and only few are chosen. And it says, verse 9, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, That's and will right. refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name, That's and right. I will hear them, and I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my power. Um, yeah. I may have Go ahead, brother. Because, mm -hmm. because ultimately the remnant, they're going to be in the midst of the of the, of the of destruction, um, in the midst of the, of the, of the, of the rich attention. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, they're gonna call on the name of Yahweh by Hashem Mashai and all him with Cruz. That right. wisdom and knowledge gonna be the stability of that time. They're gonna know what time it is. They're not gonna be involved in in, 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 in what's taking place. They're gonna fall back and rely on Yahweh Shai because the scriptures are they are fall with you for me. So we know the Lord's ordained these things to come to pass. Man. That's right. That's what's gonna keep us stable. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be calling the name of Yahweh by Hashem Mashai. I was he, he says uh, he will say he's my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh. Why how shine is my power, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is Ezekiel 25 and 11. It says, And I will execute judgment upon Moab, mm -hmm. and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus said the Lord power, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah mm -hmm. by taking vengeance, mm -hmm. and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut it off, man and beast from it. That's right. See, so the Lord has judgment for basically mainly Esau and Edom. He meant he, he read Moab, these other nations, these heathen nations that have been uh, had that crafty council to have a confederate to, to destroy us for not knowing who our power was and knowing that we were Israel. They have judgment, but the main culprit is Esau and Edom, man. And he's going to stretch them out with a mighty hand. Ultimately, it's going to be the thermonuclear missiles, you know, and that's going to cut. Uh, 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 that white supremacy down, man. Yeah. Babylon is going to be utterly destroyed because that's Satan's seat, man. That's the center of uh, of his rulership. He saw Edom's rulership, man. Right? You know. Then I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Power. And that's what's getting ready to happen, man. That's right. Okay, and them race riots. Okay, and if somebody can grab it real quick, uh, me spirits. Okay, for vengeance. Get ready for vengeance. He's okay. Okay. Yep. I got one in the back. That's that's what you get ready to see. Okay, that's why he said they're gonna they're gonna lay my vengeance upon Edom. Because what this um, gentrification that's going on inside these neighborhoods, hey, we just like a, a damn sheep. In the midst of lions now, mm -hmm. okay. When all hell breaks loose, y'all gonna be in for a hey, rude awakening. Rude awakening, man. Uh, the gathering is not coming to save little Carl and Karen. Mm -hmm. Calling the police, they, they're not. It's not gonna show up, and y'all gonna get handed with y'all asses, man. Not just only that, but also have Jake that move out to these suburbs. So they they gonna get handed today, asses yeah. too. You know. But I got, uh, I got a quick precept. This is Zechariah um, nine. I'm sorry, verse 12, it says, turn, to, turn me to the strongholds, you prisoners of hope. Even to today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I had been Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim, mm -hmm. and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, mm -hmm. and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Okay, because the Lord said he's going to make his people uh, the weapons of war. Mm -hmm. That's but, right. Uh, uh, you know? We're gonna be his battle axe, you know. But the point is, before we could, before we could get to that point, you had to come back into the fold. You had to come sure. to repenting. Mm -hmm. You had to come back to knowing who your power is, because this is why we're in this, this calamity that we are in. This is why our people are gone astray. We don't know. We don't have no hope. We don't have no. We don't know our power. We don't know who Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is. But first, we have to. We have to do that. That's why the tabernacle, the tabernacle of David is being built. The Lord is looking for His, mm -hmm. because not all Israel is of Israel. Sure. The Lord's looking for the elect. The Everything's thing. for the election. You know, this thing's going to be cut off because of the elect's sake. That's right. You know, right. The Lord's holding back the wind for the what? Mm -hmm. For the elect's sake, man. Mm -hmm. So the elect is now being built up. And that's why he, when you read in Jeremiah, what, 16, 16, it says, I will send forth for fishers, 
and they shall fish them. Then I'm going to send for hunters and they shall hunt them in the different holes and mountains, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a time where we're going to be done prophesying and the Lord's going to raise us up and give us spiritual powers. You know what I'm saying? When you get beamed up, you're gonna be transformed and turned over the eye. And you're gonna be set back down, man. And we got and we're gonna start cleaning the houses, man. You know, we're gonna be joining our house shot with the angels and, and, and destroy it and, and, and put everyone in subjection. And everyone that gotta be put to death, gonna be put to death. It's cleaning the house, you know. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah, the man. fuck, man? All this time we getting here suffering, crying, going through all the hell, you know what I'm saying? Longing for these days to come, seeking for new heaven, for new earth to come, where righteousness could could dwell. So we don't see all this filthiness and this pollution, all of these gays and lesbians and people eating all type of abomination. You know what I'm saying? Uh, caught up in folly and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're waiting for, man. We tired. We tired of Esau treading down on us, man. For the elect's sake, for righteousness. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the outside is coming back. When, when you come back, you should think he's coming back for. Think he's here to bring peace and terror does? Mm-hmm. No, so he's, he's gonna bring a sword, man. That's right. You know, and it's what we waiting for because we're in this because Yahushua's kingdom is our kingdom by default. You know, Esau and God away with too much murdering, too much uh 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 thievery and, and lying, you know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said he ain't gonna hold his tongue no more, man. You know what I'm saying? And we declaring you this because you are on trial. This time is over. We're time to see how people getting jacked up. You know what I'm saying? We tired of seeing um we 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 we're living for uh, uh, crumbs and living off dimes, you know, living paychecks to paychecks, man. We ain't got enough, man. Pull out wages in the, in the bag full of holes, man, and got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. We tired of this shit, man. And we supposed mm-hmm. to be royalty. We got we we Yahweh's chosen people, man. Right. You know, but we had to we had to taste that cup. We had yeah, to go through. Good. We had to go through it, and we're still here surviving. You know, the elect are gonna gonna uh, 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 make it. You know, through all this uh, 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 torment, through all this hell that we've caught through over the years, and now we're gonna have to go through it. Esau, you're gonna—I mean, we're gonna overcome it now. Esau, you're gonna have to face that, right? Mm-hmm. You know? I got you right here. Mm-hmm. And this is um, Job uh, uh, eighteen and fourteen, right? And it says, uh, "His comfort shall be rooted out of his tabernacle." And it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's what you get ready to see, man. Mm-hmm. You know, all your all your confidence is getting deflated right now. Nothing is going right for the nation of evil right now. Yeah. Okay. This whole nation is in complexity. Okay. Like I said, the next thing that's coming around the corner is lawlessness, man. That's the that's the first thing on the agenda, along with the famine. But that lawlessness is a. Hey, Jake, better hey, you better watch out for your ass, Jake. Don't be outside late at night. The good old boy network is still in effect. They're gonna be riding around. They might be hoodless, you know what I'm saying? They still gonna be out there in them F-150 trucks with them goddamn flags in the back. Okay. Purge. That's exactly. They gonna be out here, man. And your your next door neighbor, it it goes into in the second address, man. What we? Look, you, Jake, y'all think this is a show. This ain't a show, man. This is real life. It's the, the script of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, man. And, the, and the, the, the prophets, okay? The holy men that's out here. We're telling you this in sincerity and we're being watching and we're telling you how it's going. You women, you women better wake the fuck up and shut the fuck up and be underneath somebody. That's right. And that's that's dead serious, that's man. Right. Because in that time, if you ain't gonna be under subjection to me, guess where you're going? You're going out there. Because I don't need no distractions when I'm trying to think about what's the next move through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And a lot of y'all don't got that spirit on y'all. So y'all gonna be y'all gonna be tossed out there in the streets. I got a piece of bottle. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, I start at verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up nine. That's right. Yeah, and, and, and we correct. The sword brings forth division. Mm-hmm. So the Lord's going to uh, uh, bring that, uh, we we'll talk about the, 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 the racial tension, you know, Jacob and Esau, the, the two primary uh, actors of this movie. You know what I'm saying? They're going to collide. They're going to clash, uh, clash. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He's going to get into that. For the sword and their destruction draw up nine, mm-hmm. and one people shall stand up and fight against another. There's swords in their hands. That people can also go back to a nation, you yeah. know. Good. So you show yeah. that one one nation is going to be against another. 
race wars. Yeah, race war. That's right. So I'm showing you, man, that it's in the scriptures that a race, mm-hmm. a race war is coming. That's right. Uh, for this, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Hey, look, that that incident, right on yeah. Minna, uh, Minna yeah, with the police. That's gonna, that's it's already sedition has already been brewed up, but this is gonna even push it even more. Well, was it weeks before that? It was some big melee that happened in, in the New York City street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, they chased yeah. down Jake and was whooping on Jake like it was their goddamn kids. Yeah, that's you see what I'm saying? They broke the Jake's arm. Yeah. And it was the old man sitting there and the in the first Jake he ran, he turned inside the gate, the old man fell over. They caught that Jake that went inside the gate, they bring him back out. They beating on him, but then they start beating on the old man that didn't have shit to do with nothing. Yeah. Hey, Esau is going to have it that they're not going to abide by the Constitution. The Constitution is outside. It's, it's, it's done in a way with men. They're going to come down with that. What's that? The, 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 uh, the law. Dra- Dragonian. Dragonian law. Dragonian law. Yeah, and with that martial law, hey, man, you know, they got Rex 84, um, King Alfred's King Alfred's Prime, Project, Megiddo. Project Megiddo, and the main target is you Jakes, man. They're coming to, to kill you, man. And the scripture says it. He's going to come down having That's great right. wrath because he know if he has a short time. We we tell he saw you. Man, man. we're telling you to get prepared from the scriptures, man. That's right. Let the Lord be your, your fighting hands, man. That's right. That's what we're telling you. See, that whole thing with the FBI saying that we're a hate group and terrorist group, they want that to be seated in the minds of you are uh, coming for. Coming for. Yeah. They want that in your heads, man. And we're going to tell you that the Lord, our power, which is Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shai and the great Michael L., the angel, okay, when they return, man, it's going to be blood on the scene, man. That's and right. that ain't through the hands of no... No, black Hebrew Israelites, man. That's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man, right. coming in all his magnificent glory, man. That's with right. With chariots, with angels, with everything, man. He going to throw the whole kit and caboodle at you. That's you right. ain't going to be able to stop it. Right. And the reason why that happened is, what is it? Apple of, of, of his eye. Um, uh, Zachariah 11, verse 5, 3, 16. Okay. I got to no, no, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, and that's a sight to see, man. That's what we're waiting for, man. You know what I'm saying? But for, for the scriptures to manifest, and that's why that's why scripture says uh, and have two and three. That I think the vision was set for an important time. And now these things are speaking, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we can't wait. That's why the scripture says, "In the day of thy power, they shall be willing." You're supposed to seek the Lord now while you may be found. Don't wait until Esau come down and whatnot with his jewels and the um. And there's uh, mobile troops to come and pull you out. Because that's when people start to bleed. Oh, want to call? Yeah, I want to shoot me a shot. And try to tempt them and this and that. They ain't going to be working like that, man. So it's seeking it out, man. And this chase act that they put in and out. So so everything is rolling like a snowball effect, man. It's lead to that RFID microchip. But what? Because this is Jacob's trouble. And we know that the only way we're going to get redeemed from this is from the Lord. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. Zechariah 11 and um, 5, it says, Who possesses slave them and hold themselves not guilty? And they that sell, sell, they say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Hey, that's been going on for years, man. They've been possessing us and, and killing us and destroying our lives, our families, our morals, and then they just take vacations. You know, they don't lose their jobs, they'll get transferred to another location. Whether it's even that these Catholic priests or, or these policemen, it's just they, they're killing us, and they just get pretty much getting away scots free, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I remember too. Team, team I was talking to this team. brother uh, Bonnevoir about. Um, I seen an article, but it was from like a year ago or so, and it was saying how there was a woman. She was driving. She was she was Jake, and she had kids in the car. And the police officer off. He was off duty, and he was driving the sports car ninety five miles per hour. Mm-hmm. And as the lady took mm-hmm. the turn. She, he, he crashed into her vehicle, killed her daughter, mm-hmm. right, and, and damaged the car. And they happened to put the blame on the woman to say her, her, uh, her uh, the seat, uh, what is it called? The, the, the car seat, seat the child yeah. seat, wasn't, it was slack. It wasn't, it wasn't, it, uh, was the tie, yeah, it wasn't tied in properly. So she ended up having to deal with her child being uh, uh, killed by this, 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 this reckless man. And also her having to deal with going to jail, mm-hmm. you know, dealing with that. 
So they start pinning everything on her, and he got away with paid uh paid leave. Yeah, yeah. you see, hey, who's who's this is slated? No justice being served there because mm-hmm. you know why? Because Esau Edom is not a righteous God, man. Mm-hmm. He, he rules this world, that's why everybody that's is why. in yeah. chaos. That's why mm-hmm. it's uh, the scripture says, uh, when the righteous bear rule, people rejoice, yeah. but the wicked bear rule, people mm-hmm. are mourning, mm-hmm. hey, because he's not a righteous judge, man. Mm-hmm. You know, he, but for, for actual righteousness, right judgment, happiness on earth, he has to be. Are totally mm-hmm. annihilated, eradicated, right. eradicated off the earth. Yeah. I got, I got a quick one. Let me say this real quick. Mm-hmm. That's why the scripture said the spirit in him is not right. That's right. Because this is not a, a, a just yesterday or, or, or like a, a ten years ago. This has been going on for decades. Oh, a couple of cases been happening. Centuries. Yeah. Centuries. Centuries. Yeah. Centuries. Yeah. Centuries. Yeah. Like, Generations. Yeah. Yeah. Books yeah. written on this. Yes. Yeah. Like scripture right. says, he refused to let us go, man. That's right. You know, this is why you have shy ass come get us. Four years, four hundred plus years of slavery, eight, eight, nine years of segregation, yes, right. mass incarceration. You know what I'm saying? Just living in your neighborhood, you know? yeah, right? right. right. Mm-hmm. Salak, not to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you say that, a lot of people. Mm-hmm. When you said they refuse not to let us go, I just think of Eric Garner when he's mm-hmm. crying out, "I can't, can't breathe. breathe. This guy mm-hmm. can't breathe." Mm-hmm. You know, they're actually calling out, and Esau just stole high pressure. This just shows that he's the damn devil, man. That he's the devil, and it shows you that the people that's being oppressed, they are the people of the Lord. That's right. And it man. says that right. Judah and um, Ephraim well, shall be oppressed right. together, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, mm-hmm. Zechariah 1, verse 15. And I'm very so displeased with mm-hmm. the heathen that are mm-hmm. ease, for I was but yet a little displeased, but they held forward the affliction. Mm-hmm. How did they afford it? Because yeah. first and foremost, you got to know what's going on. He was a little displeased, but we had to go through it because what we bought it upon ourselves. Yeah, we right. sinned, man. Right. Scripture says if we do this in Deuteronomy from 28 and 15 on down, you know, that's the curse. It says that if we do these things, if we don't if we disobey and then not hearken unto the Lord's voice and his commandments, that these things are gonna happen to us. He's gonna go on cargo slave ship, he's gonna come serve come serve plant uh, um captivity in the land we know not, yeah. and so forth and so forth. But if we did do good, we would be ruling over all nations, but we didn't. So, Lord, this this was our punishment. Yeah. But after that, after our punishment was being served, Esau refused to let us go. That's right. He continued us. He yeah. still uh, free free wages. Right. Right. Go ahead, bro. No, no, just, just to back no, up. No, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah yeah. 50, verse 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, mm-hmm. and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. You know? and, this, and this is where we at at this point. This is the aftermath. This is from the generation on to this present day of what's going on. And nothing has changed. That's right. We're still at the bottom of the barrel. We're still being oppressed. We're still going through a, 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 a fucked up judicial system. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The scripture talks about woe one to him that uh, 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 describe uh, grievous. Uh, describe uh, uh, Previous, Isaiah uh, 10 and 1. 10 and 1, you know what I'm saying? Prescribe right. grievous. It's just a warrant to them that they feel unrighteous decree. Unrighteous decree, the water, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't look like, they don't look out for the needy. They don't do like nothing. We saw that on camera. Obviously, that man should, should be uh, uh, punished and, and put to death, and put to death. persecuted. It was a, it you know? was about the laws of the Bible. Right, yeah. showing that there's no justice. Going back with, uh, uh, I was just telling these brothers, I was watching that documentary with Ronnie King. Um, the rise of 90, uh, 92, 92. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Seeing that it was on camera and four officers just went whamming on him and he's not doing nothing, he's not resisting mm-hmm. and they get acquitted and, and walk off scot-free. It shows you that for our people, for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have no justice, you have no freedom, you have no liberty. Right. You're considered a three-fifth of a man. You know what I'm saying? Three fifths of a man. So even you know, a dog is more worthy than you, man. That's right. So it's showing you that uh, this is why we need to cry for how about you know, shot to get us out of here, man. That's right. Because if you don't come back, man, there's gonna be no flesh to be saved, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, bro. It says uh uh, uh Matthew 24, verse 22. Uh, it says, uh, if the Lord doesn't shorten the time, does show no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. That's mm-hmm. why you see. Or, or this, uh, even the 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 Jake getting killed on the street. That's the Lord fast fast forward the, the days, man. Mm-hmm. So that so that Judah yeah. can rise up, so that he can be uh, redeemed. Yeah. 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 Read that real quick. No, ahead, and so, uh, uh, Revelation uh, twelve verse ten, and he reads on, um, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power, in the power of his anointed, 
for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, we should accuse them before our power day and night. And that's what's happening, man. That's exactly what's going to happen. Yes, right. Yeah, keep on reading. It says, uh, verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb mm -hmm. and by the word of the testimony, and they love not the life unto death. Therefore, rejoice in heaven, and he that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitant of earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having with wrath, because he knoweth that he has a short time. And that's, what's, that's why it's going to be more and more of these type of atrocities that's happening mm -hmm. to our people. Mm -hmm. Because he knows that his time is up. And that's what really pisses him off. That's really what's getting his goal right there. That he knows that he's about to be in subjection forever and, and ever until he perished from this earth after the Lord comes back, man. And he's not ready for that servitude, man. That's right. And that's why he's going to try to kill as much Jake as he wants because this is his last rock, his last stand. He, he thinks that if he can get rid of all of us with this Project Megiddo plan, Depopulation, mm -hmm. Horrified Dietje, yeah, yeah. uh, you name it, he, he ready to do it. He got fucking guns out there that you ain't never even seen yet mm -hmm. still, okay? Mm -hmm. And Arsenal that, that you ain't never even seen, they never tested. Okay, they got these mechanical terminators and shit that they gonna put, in, put into play. That's right. The super soldiers are already here, all they do is dose them up with drugs, okay? Mm -hmm. Look at Flocker. That would be a perfect soldier if they can control the mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't feel shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he don't feel even, shit. Even putting that in, in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? That's still, that's a, gonna, that's still, still a way to, to kill him. Yeah. That's right. You see? This yeah. white man in thought every corner, and he said, I got him on this side, I got him on that side, I got him here, I got him over there. Whatever they doing, they going to get killed. That's how he wants it. Because mm -hmm. he, he ultimately wants to try to upset prophecy, mm -hmm. but not realizing that the mm -hmm. Lord has used Satan to 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 uh, manipulate the elite's mind, the elite's issue when they hit Satan's plans mm -hmm. to, to, to do all this. Ultimately, this is all of the Lord. Right? Yeah. So that's why the elite's their plans are never going to, their enterprises is never going to be fulfilled because the Lord is just moving the chess pieces yeah. until 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 Yahweh sent his, his son, Yahweh Shah, to come down and lay the hammer on Esau and Edom and deliver the elect. I got a quick one. This is John 10 and 9. It says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. That's right. Yeah. The door is for Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. so, he says, no one can come to the Father but to me. That's what Yahweh Shai said. So, there's no other way around. And that's his name. Yahweh Shai, uh, Nomen Omen, Nim Prediction. Yep. He's the one that's going to save us and deliver us from the hate of our enemies. Yep. Yep. That's right. Deliver you see, we ain't no hate group, man, because you don't hear none of us saying go out there and get a gun and go do this mischief and that mischief. That's right. We telling our people the real, sincere truth of the scriptures, man, how it was left to us. And I'm going to start it over again. John 10 and 9. It says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved right. and shall go in and out and find pasture. That means you won't be scared through these times, man. Like I said at the beginning of the show, everybody in GMS should know, before you do anything, pray to the Most High to make sure that He keeps you on the path of righteousness, keeps you protected, keeps your family protected, and go on about your day. But constantly pray, man. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing, man. Hey, that's beautiful. Bro. Okay. The scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. See, this is not, oh, we see our people dying from Esau. Now it's time to go get a gun. No, that's not what we're preaching. We don't preach that. Yeah, we that's not a part of the ministry, man. Repent and seek the Lord ten times more because you right. were astray. We right. all were astray. But this is what we're doing. We're putting out, uh, uh, coming out with the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai doing videos, praying, reading, and staying spiritually minded. Yeah. 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 Right. You, 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 let me read this real quick because I want to just stay right here mm -hmm. for a quick second. Mm -hmm. And then on verse 10, because this is who y'all need to be investigated. FBI, CIA, YouTube people. Okay? In John 10 and 10, it says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. who, who do we see doing that? Mm -hmm. Tell me what mass number of mounts of Jake have teamed up against white people and choked them out. Okay? Yeah. Or maybe dragged them behind the truck and strung them up in the tree. Or cut off some type of body part from them and have a picnic dancing around them and shit. Postcards. It's genocide. You, you, you have never, we, we are not the people for that. Sure. But this scripture says who it is, mm -hmm. okay? And it's Esau Edom, man. 
so-called white man. The so-called white man is the one that does all this, uh, all this wicked, man. I mean, shit you know, reached up to heaven, man. And the Lord is, he's not having it no more, man. And it's coming. It's coming like a flood. Okay. If, if I mean, I told you, Esau the prophet. That is Esau the prophet. That's what You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the one. That, like, the that's, that's, that's the scripture. The Lord has created a vessel for wickedness, and Esau is the one to the that's prophecy. Right. That's right. That's right. Uh, let me come back up real quick. Um, this is in Proverbs 16, verse 4. It says, The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the, the wicked, but for the day of evil. That's right. You know? So Esau was created for a purpose. And, and like the brother was getting into, you, you could do that process of elimination. You don't see the Chinese man. You don't see the Hamites. You don't see the Arabs going through bombing, invading countries, doing these little co co coverts and these little proxy wars oh. and robbing, raping, and pillaging villages and land, stealing uh, resources and moving landmarks. You know what I'm saying? And also, the reason why you're going to be put to death is because what? Because you committed blasphemy, man, against the Holy Spirit. Huh. You, you portray yourself as the Most High. You, you paint and put that false image of Cesar Borgia all plastered throughout the whole world, man. Right. And, you know, and, and that's a, a stronghold that's been embedded in our people's head, man. I'm trying to tell them, especially our Latin brothers, the Lord ain't this, and he ain't that. But Esau done, you know, done fucked up our people's minds. That's right. But it's just showing you, though, who's the wicked, man? Mm -hmm. Scripture says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. This is brother's reading. He came not but to steal and to kill and destroy. That's, right. That's why you're not supposed you know? to be marvel. Right. You know, when you right. see things like this happen, they've been doing it constantly and constantly. This, this, this right. yeah. you know, we're going to go back mm -hmm. to Genesis. Uh, Esau said, uh, the days of mourning my father at hand, mm -hmm. then when I sleep, my brother Jacob. Mm -hmm. So this is what it's been. It's been in the spirit from the beginning. That's mm -hmm. right, you know. Is he his brother's keeper? Then the brothers is reading Revelations 12 and 10. He, he's the accuser of that brethren. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It shows you, man. It's, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, and it's it's plain and obvious. They killed that that dude Aubrey, yep. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the old but he was stealing from the house. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he mm -hmm. he was accused of stealing mm -hmm. from Walmart years ago. This and that and the other. Up. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, what is wrong with you just mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, I went out there in the front yard and shot him down with my shotgun. Because they always got to look like a good righteous, guy. a righteous thing. They want to be righteous mm -hmm. in, in what they're doing. Hey, I'm showing you. Cause there was a there was a uh, a video that came out that in that same house they they had a camera set yeah, two white two guys white did that. The they did the same girl. shit yeah. and people do that people go in there and look around look at the frame right and go like, oh. yeah yeah why come they didn't run out their house to attack them mm -hmm. that's a spiritual thing mm -hmm. that's that's, that's it. sexual hatred man. that's why I got that right here mm -hmm. this is uh, Ezekiel thirty five and one and it says moreover the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me saying Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Mm -hmm. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Okay, because if I may do wrong, right? A Mount Seir, modern day Mount Seir, is he. It's, it's, it's he on America, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what the Lord's going to make a, a desolate wilderness. So to Isaiah, Verse 5 it says, Because thou had had a perpetual hatred, mm -hmm. and shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamities, right. in the time that their iniquity had an end. If I if I if I may have to right, when you look at what perpetual means forever, ever ending, uh, uh, right. the hatred never goes away, man. Right. And it shows you like you said it a while ago for our right? Uh, from Genesis, uh, when Esau said the day, the day for my for morning for my father's out of him, the day when I slay my brother Jacob. So the same hatred that Esau has for for our our, our, our forefather Jacob, mm -hmm. it passed on from generation to generation, man. Right. And the, the hatred keep going. It's right. never gonna go away. It's never it's never gonna go away. It's gonna be multiplied, no? Right. And, and this is why we can never get along, man. Because after what they beat up Ron King, what he said? Can we all get along? Can we all get along? Hey, that no. spirit of Martin Luther King. Right. You know, right. we all to be equal. Hey, they proven that they can't hold well, not to control, but they mm -hmm. can't hold on to their end side of the, the end of the bargain. Right. You know, they're covered they're truce breakers, they're covenant breakers. Right. They'll talk smooth with you like they're for you, but they want to knife you in the back. The scripture is there's a scripture on that. Right. You know? Hey, so, uh, I'm, I'm getting right back. Uh -huh. It says uh, uh where it says uh the words are smoother than butter. But uh, 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 uh
because you know he's still drawing up swords. Yep. But all th this is showing the characteristics of the Esau being the serpent, the devil. You know what I'm saying? Going back to uh, uh, Cain and Abel and Jacob and Esau. Because this is a spiritual thing. People ain't gonna understand this. This is why we go into scriptures and break it down and show you it's between these two these two main characters, between Jacob and Esau. Because it, it wasn't because Esau was wicked or Jacob was, was righteous. It's because before they was even born, that Yahweh Bashim and Yahshah made that decision, man. That's right. right. And this is why you can't understand it. You got to go into the scriptures. Yeah. And the Lord said, what? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. Come, Kurab, I got to fix up what I hear. On Job 14, verse 4, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. No. So a, right. uh, in Jeremiah, there's a priest that says, uh, uh, may he, that I'm okay. to do evil, the good. So mm. uh, ultimately, he's talking to do the good, good man. Right. His spirit is not a bright in him, you know what I'm saying? So he was programmed to basically to have a hatred for you uh, for you Israelites, so he couldn't keep doing it. I mean, that, that was his purpose. That's that was right. uh his program, you know. That's right. it. That is the creation of Yahweh right. Right. Just that's like the well. matrix. Every every character in the matrix as a program has something to do. And right. that's what he saw's purpose is to basically to show the hatred that he has for you. you know? yeah. That's right. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 6. It says, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare blood, so like I will prepare thee unto blood. And blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Mm -hmm. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off, permit him that passed out, him that returned. All right, and that's that's part of our all the the customs that we've given on to the Israelites, man. Okay, when you read Numbers thirty five and thirty three, it tells you the same thing. All right, so since y'all fixed the the holy scriptures to this nation. Y'all promised that this book would be the law of the land, oh. and y'all have not abided by that. Guess what? The Lord is going to do his most to take y'all down. That's what right. y'all should never touch with it was ours. And it right. says that in the scriptures. That's okay? Right. Well, you shouldn't yeah. have went into our homeland and touched what was up, ours. Right. Okay? And it says in um, Numbers 35, just like it says there, it says, So ye shall not pollute the land. Hey, where you are. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35 and 33. Man. I got you right yeah. here. Yeah, you want more? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Numbers 35 and 33. It says, For ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So, hey, mm -hmm. y'all keep on doing what y'all doing, man. Keep mm -hmm. on doing it, man. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, the Lord's going to come through majorly, like it says in Isaiah, the, uh, when it said that, Who's just coming from Basra? 63. Who's just coming from Basra? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's what this is going into, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because this is how the Lord's going to clean up this place. Esau Edom is going down. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. You're going down in a major way, and there's nowhere to stop it from happening. Mm -hmm. Payback is a bitch, man. That's it. <laughs> Can I ask something, bro? Yeah. It's just like it shows you, like, uh, so much blood has shed with the South of America. The only solution is to to be uh, to, to make up yeah, not even make up turn it into a wilderness, to make yeah. an example out of it, man. Yeah. That's, that's right. how that's how because of Esau's wickedness, the land the land has to be uh, punished, man. Mm -hmm. right. That's, right. Yeah, no? that's the only way it's gonna be cleansed. Mm -hmm. Everything will be rejuvenated. Yeah. By shedding that blood. And ain't that righteous, ain't that uh equal? Balance. Balance, right? The water. And then the Lord says, um, he's not mocked, whatever you shall reap. I mean, whatever you shall sow, you shall reap. Yeah, whatever you shall sow, you shall you shall reap. So that's what it is, man. You you sow nothing but wickedness, man, yeah. and unrighteousness, man. So second, that's the fifteen and six. It says, "For wickedness had exceeded the pollute the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled." It's not a it's not a problem with the the plagues. Come on, it says um verse five. It says, "Um behold, said the Lord." I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's for right. wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. So the Lord's gonna bring a bunch of plagues, judgment, the sword, famine, death, destruction, all this because wickedness has fulfilled the whole earth, man. And the wicked their rule, and he's the one that's pushing out this wickedness. And and brothers mentioned in Rep well, in Revelation eighteen, the wickedness have reached up to the heavens, so the Lord is tired now. He's sick of of the of the wicked now, and now he's about to cast judgment through these, the sword, the famine, death, destruction, martial law, civil unrest. You know, Job nine and twenty four also showed you that, uh, that the wicked's in control. Right? That's right. Uh, verse seven it says, "Therefore said the Lord Yahweh Hashem I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, right. which they profanely commit, 
neither would I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, the Lord, so not, if the Lord is not holding back his tongue anymore. He got his servants, the prophets, starting from the apostles and elders of great millstone, the brothers on down. We out there exposing them, lifting up their skirt, exposing who the, 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 the son of perdition is, man, and his evil ways. And, you know, and now he's being revealed as the devil that he was created for. Mm -hmm. so, it says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And the innocent are the Israelites, man. We're the innocent and the righteous. And also those that have died and, and, and been martyrs of Yahweh Shai, they're in the heavens, uh, praying and crying out to the Lord to come send Yahweh Shai to come redeem the elect and, and, and bring back this new world, man. Yeah. You know? Huh. And get rid of this uh, uh, this horror show, man. Huh. Huh. Verse 9. It says, and therefore, said the Lord, Yahweh Shinel Shah, I will surely avenge them and receive unto you all the innocent blood from among them. That's right. And that's, that also goes with Ze uh, Zephaniah 3, verse 8. We wait upon the Lord. See, these scriptures are also comforting for us that we know, hey, we ain't going to be able to take down this enemy Esau with our own hands. We're going to need the Lord and the angels to come. And he promised because his word goes without void. So he sent it. He said it, he meant it, man. And this is going to happen. And we see it all happening. It's it's, it's playing out now. Man. It's permeating. And, it's, yeah, and this is why this is why yeah, this is why this this lesson, this warning is for Jake, for, for you Israelites to wake up and seek your power, and also for you Israelites that keep on kill I mean uh, for you Edomites that keep on killing our people, your judgment's coming too, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's why the prophecy, the prophecies are a blessing unto those that are waiting for the Lord. That's right. And, and it's a curse to those that such as the Edomites, you know. Right. Because they know that they once again they know that they time short. That's why this Lord said He's gonna avenge them. So mm -hmm. that's why He's sending these plagues. So mm -hmm. why, that's why we rejoice. That's why we rejoice at these plagues that are coming upon. Because we know the kingdom of heaven is coming soon. That's right. And that Esau, uh, Esau, even has his downfall, and it's, 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 it's short. It's coming. You know. And that's why we. That's why we excited for showing you that a, mm -hmm. the times are short. That's you right. Know? And scripture says, "Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, because in, in the day of that security, that's, that's what right. You right. don't want to be sitting, uh, chilling." Uh, doing TikTok, you know what I'm saying? And you go outside and Esau bust you over your damn head. You know what I'm saying? for you, the Lord. Your life on TikTok. Yeah, huh? Be sure. That's right, bro. That's right. You got more than that? Yes, sir. Real quick, this is on Luke chapter 8, verse 7. It says, And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? That's right. I tell you. That he will avenge them speedily. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? You know? So, hey, so the Lord's going, he's hearing our pride, man. He's saying he ain't going to suffer us to, to, to live in, 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 Egypt. in Egypt no more, man. You know, we, 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 the main focus was what? The focal point was to gather the elect, man, that fishing part, man. Now, that's why uh, that's why the, the winds are coming, man. This is why all types of plagues and that's trouble. That's you know what I'm saying? This, you know what I'm saying? It's coming upon the earth. That's right. That's right. And we, we know that our, our Savior is Yahweh Bashim Yashad. Like, yeah, he's done before in the old the, the, the old generations before us with the prophets and the kings, man. Mm -hmm. But right now, man, we, we you know, it's seeking him because we know it, the time is short, man. That's right. Very man. short. I got a piece of Where, uh, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that <clears throat> whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashad, the power of Israel, mm -hmm. should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, hey man, that's plain and simple. But this is the power of Israel, man. So this is for the Israelites, man. If you don't seek the Lord, you don't repent and seek Him ten times more, especially yeah, while the the, the 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 doors of mercy, that grace period, is still available, mm -hmm. and you still want to be in this world and and and, and, and make the Lord tarry, you know, I'm gonna make tarry to turn to the Lord, hey, you're gonna be put to death straight straight. Straight skinny, man. Just um, like that, man. If I may answer right, there is a, a, a penalty. There is a penalty for your disobedience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just this is for all your faith who shall die in our faithfulness. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, That's right, yeah, uh, if you, you not listening to the Lord, you not taking uh, what we're saying right now seriously because when, when it's not our speaking. Mm -hmm. The Lord Yahweh yeah. Hashem Shai is speaking to us. Man. That's right. right. These words, these are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai. So, if you decide to go away from, from this message, guess what? This job is for your destruction. Yeah, you might have a policeman kill you, you know, not not let go. You know, you mm -hmm. might have somebody bother you, steal your goods or anything. May the Lord, it says it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. Mm -hmm. right? So may the Lord who could, can, can, can see your, your biggest fears and, and put it upon you, man. Right? You know? Okay. This is Isaiah 34, 
in the five, because this is what ultimately is going to happen. All right. It says uh, Isaiah thirty-four and five. It says, "For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Mm. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, upon the people of my curse to judgment." Okay. So the Edomites mainly being the people of his uh, judgment. Okay, that's cursed by it, but also two thirds of you, and also the other nations. Okay. Mm -hmm. It said, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood, mm. and is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kittens of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra, mm. and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And that goes, that ties up with numbers. Yeah. 35, 35 and 35. Hey, that's that blood. What you got to understand is the whole land mass of, <laughs> of uh, Babylon the Great, which it, it includes Canada, North America, Okay, those places are going to be blown off the face of the earth. Man. Okay, because this is one big altar. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's talking about fat and kidneys and the sword of the Lord being filled with that is because when you see a butcher, mm -hmm. right, on the chopping block and everything, That's you right. see blood squirting all over the mm -hmm. place, you see fat on the blade, he's still cutting, having fun, he's still chopping it down. That's right. Okay? But that sword is going to be that nuclear missile. Right. Ultimately, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? That's what it's going to be. And Esau's going to be that sacrifice. That's 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 right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and right. every, every wicked thing in this country that's is right. going to be yeah. sacrificed. Can that nigga uh, 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 yeah. the Sasson bro? Yeah. The lanes, right? Symbolize the nation of Israel. Two yeah. thirds, right? Two thirds. The good yeah. symbolize yeah. Esau. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, what? The good good have some heavy judgment coming up. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, it, and it goes into it, like you said, in Isaiah 63. That's right. That's what, that's what he's going to come with. That's, right. that's why his, his whole garment is going to be bloody, man. That's right. It's going to be bloody because this is the end of all wickedness on the face of the earth here in Babylon the Great. Man. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you know, hey, I mean, that, that was beautiful. Yeah, um, if I just, yeah, yeah I mean, right. uh, this is in Lamentations 4 and 21. That's and right. It says, Rejoice, be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself nakedness. Mm. So, you know, so Lord's going to visit you, man. That cup is coming in many forms. The cup, you won't go into slavery. That cup, you won't have all the curses that was put on us, put on y'all. Mm -hmm. That cup, like the brothers were just reading, man, you, 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 you don't get an ass kicking, man, when your house shot gets back. Mm -hmm. And also, when them, the other nations launch them missiles upon you, man. Mm -hmm. And one hour away, your judgment shall come, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Babylon shall be, it shall fall. It shall, it's going to fall, man. Yeah, six right. minutes. You know, that's it, man. Six, <laughs> six, right? six, six minutes. Six minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, six minutes. So, hey, show if me. I may direct, yeah, go ahead, brother. It's, it's like uh, 70, 76 to like 2020. Like almost like a, a couple of years, right? right to 10. build this whole kingdom up, right? Yeah. Lord's gonna, it's only gonna take the Lord 60 minutes, 30 minutes down. for the missile to come down here, and 30 minutes for it to, uh, to, to wrap it up, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So it's just as a noise thou the disobedient cis men was this on earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So it's only gonna be take a lot of moment to basically to destroy this thing. That's right. That's heavy. That's what we long for, man. That's what the fuck we want, man. Those moments we on them chariots looking down and seeing the downfall of our enemy. That's where you need to be. That's right. Nah, you're gonna be cooking over here with Esau, man. That's right. Be on the grill, man. No bueno, man. But yeah, and. And it says that the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Oh, right. You will no more carry thee away into captivity. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so, yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. I got it, bro. We, we accomplished our captivity, mm -hmm. our slavery. We went through them tough times, man. And we still here, truth and nail, trusting in Yahweh Bash and our shot. We, we, you know, we didn't know who we were. We got our identity, our heritage beaten out of us. Mm -hmm. We spared power of the Lord. And he gave it back to us. And now, our, and now we're seeking righteousness. And now the Lord is going to put some curses on our enemies. Man. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. No more care be away in captivity. That's and right. will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and That's will right. discover thy sins. That's right. And his, son, his sins are discovered. He has so many sins. Man. Right. And that's why he has to pay death by pain. Death too much blood. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb, right? Uh, uh, Dumb. Uh, pay and be eradicated, man. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You suffer. You suffer. It, T uh, carefully with tears, man. Yeah, so you right. found no what? Yeah, no repentance. place of repentance, man. That's right. At least these nations are going to get a fair shake. You know what I'm saying? They have some decency. But you, you, you you're you a profane motherfucker, man. 
You should have never been made, created, man. Yeah, just, yeah, so you know? It just started by when you said that they're going to have, these other nations are going to have a blessings to be learned, oh, be yeah. taught, taught by us, mm -hmm. the law of statute commands. Mm -hmm. Esau, you're going to just serve your time and then be eradicated, so you won't even going to know like righteousness. Right. You ain't going to never know righteousness, man. Oh, yeah. man. So, it's, yeah. it's all right. He came and taught us anyways. Yeah. He's the damn devil. That's sure. right. That's right. Hey, so you want to serve your purpose being um, sack mules out there in the field, yeah. carrying uh, cotton, and do whatever we say to do, man. We right. want bowl you anytime you feel like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, eating right. eat, eat, eat uh, rock <laughs> soups. You know, yeah. You're going to get the finest, or the finest of rocks for you, <laughs> brother. You're gonna have yeah. a foot up your ass yeah, that's, at this moment and get bashed with, with the iron, the raw the iron over the head, hey, right. and, and, and you ain't gonna get no rest until the day of Saturday. And it's it's only yeah, pain you know. for, for what you've been doing upon the earth all these years, man. Yeah. That's right, bro. Okay. So with that, we yeah. want to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Akakadash. And I will understand the elder apostle, great millstone, peace and blessings to all you brothers speaking the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. And we to stand in the banner of the house. And with that, we want to say a bob, 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 a bob,